The human brain recognizes objects by extracting multiple layers of representations from a sensory input. Inspired by the brain, deep neural networks have demonstrated excellent performance in many classification tasks such as voice recognition and natural language processing. They are especially good at vision recognition. The networks can nearly match a human's ability to recognize objects in real images. That raises the question of what differences remain between how deep neural networks and humans see the world. The answer is quite a lot. A recent study revealed that changing an image originally correctly classified, for instance as a school bus, in a way imperceptible to humans can cause a deep neural network to label the image as something else entirely. In this research, we show a related phenomenon that deep neural networks label images that are unrecognizable to humans as school buses as well. While some deep neural networks can recognize guitars with high confidence, we can find certain unrecognizable images that these networks will also rate with 99% certainty as guitars. Our research shows that it is easy to produce such synthetic images that are completely unrecognizable to humans, but that deep neural networks believe with near certainty are familiar objects. For example, a state-of-the-art deep neural network believes with 99% certainty that these images are bubbles and peacocks, but they clearly don't look like real bubbles and peacocks. We generate these synthetic images with evolutionary algorithms that produce images that deep neural networks confidently label as belonging to a class. To do so, we take a deep neural network already trained to recognize real images, and then we evolve images that the same network rates confidently as known objects. We evolve two types of images. The first type is directly encoded images, meaning we independently optimize the color values of each pixel. The resulting images look mostly like white noise. The second type of images is involved with an indirect encoding, which produces images with more regular patterns. Previously evolution with this encoding has produced images that are recognizable to both humans and deep neural networks. While the type of images is different, the result is the same. Images are produced that are completely unrecognizable, yet the networks classify them as familiar objects with certainty. We repeat the experiment on a different network that performs well at recognizing handwritten digits. Evolution is asked to generate images which are confidently labeled by the network as digits and we observe a similar phenomenon. This is what the images are supposed to look like, but the network believes that these images are real digits with near certainty. One may ask how deep neural networks can label these unrecognizable images in a way totally different from how a human would. Looking closely at the images, for example the jackfruit, we think that the network may be looking at these yellow pixels which somewhat vaguely look like the real jackfruit. Some images appear with the right colors of the class. The starfish has a blue of water and the orange of skin. The remote control image has a grid of buttons but no rectangular contour of the device. Instead of looking at the global structures of an object to make decisions, Deep neural networks tend to look for discriminative features such as colors or buttons to determine if this is a jackfruit or a remote control. This is a curious result that allows us to better understand how deep neural networks work, such as what they learn to focus on in classifying images. But why does it matter? One can imagine a security camera relying on deep neural networks being compromised when white noise images are swept for face or fingerprints. A shady company could inject explicit photos in Google search results to make profits. They could bypass Google image filters powered by deep neural networks by producing explicit photos but that the networks recognize as safe content. 
Interestingly, letting deep neural networks drive the evolution of images also creates an automated art engine that endlessly generates diverse abstract art. In this paper, we have shown a major difference between how human vision and state-of-the-art computer vision recognize objects.